Hi, I'm Cheryl Fitzgerald. I'm a senior project manager with Baldwin Hackett and Meeks, and I have been here for over 15 years now. Um, I've worked on a wide variety of software projects, and um, probably for the last four years, I have been using Agile methodology. So what is Agile development? Agile development is really a very lightweight software methodology. Um, project management methodology that really emphasizes self-organized teams, cross-functional teams, um, short iterative development cycles, frequent testing, and delivery to customer, and a lot of customer engagement. So what do I really mean by that? Well, you know, self-organizing team, they are given a clear definition of what they need to build, and then they figure out for themselves how they're going to approach that project and get it built. Um, Cross-functional teams means that everybody on the team has the skills that are needed to get the project finished. So not that everybody has every skill, but that somebody on the team has the skill that the whole entire project needs. So um, you don't have to look outside of the project for people that have those particular skills. The short iterative development cycles, we're talking short, we're talking like two to four weeks you know, six weeks at the most, over that it's too long, and at the end of each cycle, you actually have software that you can deliver, and you can show to the customer, you can demo it, and they have working software at the end of that particular cycle. So that's the goal of these short iterative cycles. Now what's interesting is that Agile, you've been hearing about it lately, more, more, more and more recently, but it's been around since the 50s. The Department of Defense and NASA have been using it that long. Um, but the rest of the industry really hasn't used it. They've used something that, that they called waterfall method instead. My experience with Agile then has been in 2007, um, I worked with a colleague that was familiar with Agile development methodology, project management methodology, and we were just starting a new project for a health insurance company, and it was a pretty major project, and we decided that we were going to go ahead and, and try it out and adopt the Agile methodology for this particular project. So we had somebody that was on the team that was experienced with it, and he was our mentor. He trained up the whole team on how to do Agile methodology, and you know, it was a rough go start up, um, but we actually finally, you know, figured out what we were doing, adapted it to our particular environment and that particular project, and it was a really good experience. It was a good way to run that particular project. Um, we found lots of, um, what was interesting is that old habits die hard. So we were all very used to running a project, you know, in, in the way we had been doing it. And so this particular colleague had to keep working with us, um, you know, as old habits would surface and we would want to, like for example, Agile is very focused on time boxed uh, iteration cycles and so time is everything. We picked, I believe, four week development cycles during that project and when we got close to the end of one, if not everything was finished, our natural reaction was, let's go ahead and lengthen, you know, by a day or two and so we can get everything done and that was old habit. So he would come in and say, no, you can't do that. Um, time is more important than um, getting all the functionality done. So what we would have to do is we'd have to um, just wrap up, you know, not leave things broken because code has to be deliverable at the end of an iteration cycle. So if certain features weren't done yet, we had to just um, change the code so that they weren't called, they weren't used, um, and we had to finish off what we were doing. We had to wrap up, we had to make it deployable. Um, so that was, you know, that was hard to adjust to, but we finally got the hang of it um, and we started rolling forward. And we, and actually since that particular project, I have been doing that methodology on all the projects that I've managed since then. So how has Agile development benefited the projects I've managed since then? I think probably some of the biggest advantages to it is that the team stay really, really focused during that particular iteration cycle um, where we have decided what should go in a particular cycle, then everybody is just heads down working on getting that functionality uh, you know, implemented and, and finished off. So we don't allow interruptions to come in. Um, as a project manager, I really fight to not have the team interrupted or borrowed for other projects. 
Um, I, I try to shield them from that. Um, it's also really helped because of the frequent testing that is involved in all of this. So, you know, I, our, the test team, a lot of times myself, um, we'll get the software at the end of an iteration and, and we, we get it tested out and just that frequent testing, just, you know, every, every three weeks, every four weeks, we are testing again, integration testing again, just makes the software that much more stable. Um, as we keep testing and retesting and we have the ability to build up regression test plans as we go along so we're always regression testing plus new feature testing so it's really been um, it's been good from that point of view because I really feel like the testing effort at the end of it when we finally get done with the entire project the code's been tested several times and so it's just that much more solid and stable um, what I also really like about this methodology is that customer engagement that we get because as we're delivering to them every month, they see it every month, they have a demo of it every month, um, they can choose whether they're going to keep it as an internal deployment or if they're going to roll it out to production, and they get to use it just, you know, as we just keep delivering features then they keep using it and they give us that feedback about this works, this doesn't work, it'd be nice if it did this instead of that. Um, so again, just at the end of the project, we just have a better product um, that the customer just enjoys more and likes to use more. So what are the industry trends that I've seen with regard to Agile development? I really see more and more companies adopting it. There's just more understanding out there in the, in the industry about what Agile is and what benefits it brings. When I was first started doing this back in 2007, I had to spend a lot of time explaining not only internally to people here in the company, but also to the customers I was working with about why Agile was a good thing, why I wanted to do it, what benefits it brought. Um, so I had to really be kind of a cheerleader for it. And now I find that more and more people have heard about it, they understand it, they understand the benefits that come along with it, so I don't have to sell it as hard. Another thing that I've seen is um, there's been a lot of certification efforts as far as getting people certified in, like a certified scrum master is a particular certification you get. There's a wide variety out there. I'm involved in an organization um, called PMI, Project Management Institute. It's a global organization. It's a professional organization for project managers. And they have recently come out with their own certification for Agile. It's called ACP, Agile Certified Practitioner. And that's actually getting a lot of attention as well. There's several people that have signed up to take that particular test. You need two years of experience before you can even sit for the test, and then you get the test and you get that certification. So I really see it being just more and more widely adopted. Um, people are hearing about it more. I'm hearing about it more. Um, I, I attended a conference in October in Dallas, sort of a, a leadership development conference, and there was a lot of breakout sessions that dealt with Agile methodology. So what advice would I give to a team that wants to get started in Agile development? What I would most recommend is that it, they get a mentor to work with them to get it started. Um, they really need to get an overview about what Agile methodology is, what the goals are, what the benefits are, um, how to run a scrum, and you know the things to sort of watch out for and how to adopt the practice to uh, using it in, in like our particular uh, company and corporate culture. Um, so mentor, having a good mentor is key, somebody that's been through it before, just to guide and direct, especially like through the first one or two iterations um, to help structure it and just get the team uh, going with really good habits to carry on forward. And then, you know, the training, just to make sure everybody understands what it is, how it works, what the goals of it are. We hear a lot about Scrum, and Scrum is a rugby term. Scrum is, is what rugby teams do when they are trying to get the ball moving. Um, and that word was adopted for the daily meetings that Agile methodology really encourages teams to have. The idea is that every day, the whole team meets for just 15 minutes at the most. Um, there are supposed to be stand-up meetings to keep them, or everybody standing up, uh, to keep the amount of time short. And it's a way for the team just to really exchange brief status. Um, what, what did you accomplish since our last scrum? What are you going to accomplish between this scrum and the next scrum? And are there any obstacles in your way of getting your tasks accomplished? Um, 
that is so key to this particular Agile development methodology because it gets the team uh, coming together frequently, everybody knows what everybody else is doing, and most importantly, if there are any obstacles in people's way, the Scrum Master, the person who's actually leading the team, um, can go off and remove those impediments, those obstacles, whatever's holding the team up. That's what their job is, and that keeps the team going and highly efficient in, in moving forward.